Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I want to show you how to make this Christmas rum cake. I've been making this cake for years. People absolutely love it and it's simple and easy to make. To get the cake started, you're just going to need a classic yellow box of cake mix. And um, you can find this in the baking section of your supermarket. You're going to need a 3.3 ounce instant vanilla pudding. It's just an instant pudding we're going to add to our cake mix. You're going to need four eggs, a cup of chopped pecans, a half a cup of water, a half a cup of oil, and a half a cup of rum. Now that's what we're using in our cake. Now for the glaze for the cake we're going to need another half cup of rum and the dark rum works best and one cup of sugar, one fourth of a cup of butter, and one fourth cup of water. All right, let me show you how we're gonna get this cake together. First, you're gonna grease and flour a 12 cup bump pan or a 10 inch tube pan. And to the bottom, we're going to add the chopped pecans. Now, if you'd like to use walnuts, you can do that too. Make sure they're equally distributed in the bottom of the bump pan. Now, sit this off to the side. In a medium mixing bowl, we're gonna add the cake mixture and the pudding along with the four eggs you can just add it in all at once that's what makes this so great to make the water the oil and a half a cup of rum now be sure to save your other half for your glaze alrighty now with an electric mixer, you're gonna get in here and mix this for the next three minutes on medium speed. My rum cake batter is ready for its baking pan. So let's bring back the baking pan and you're gently going to pour the batter and oh my gosh, that batter smells so delicious. Evenly in the bottom of your bump pan. Okay, making sure you try not to get it on the edges. So it'll come out of your pan nice and smoothly. All right, now at this point, you want to make sure your oven is preheating to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, off to the oven, this goes for the next one hour. There it is. Oh my goodness, my house smells so yummy. The cake has completed baking. I've got it here on a cooling rack, as you can see. I'm going to let it sit for five minutes, and I'm going to get my glaze started. So now back over here to the oven. In a small saucepan over medium heat, I'm adding the butter. Now this is the glaze. You're going to add the sugar, water, and rum. And we're going to bring this to a boil. Once it starts boiling, we're going to let it boil for five minutes. The glaze has been bubbling for about five minutes. It's going to be absolutely perfect for the cake now. I'm going to sit this off on the back burner while I take the cake out of its bump pan. If you have this little cheap plastic knife, you want to go around the edges to ensure that it's not sticking. Just be very careful when you do it. Okay, the reason I use these little plastic knives is because they're not going to scratch your pans. Now, I'm going to give this a little shake. All right, it feels like it's loose. And now we're going to directly add this onto the serving platter. So I've got my serving platter right here. I'm going to flip it upside down. You want to make sure that you've got your mitts on because it can be awfully warm. All right, and here I've got a hold of the bottom, and then we're just going to... There it is. Woo! What a beauty! Now, if you got little crumbs along the edge of your plate, go ahead and scrape them off. Now, with a skewer, I have a wooden skewer, I'm going to start poking holes in the top of the cake here. Now, make sure where the nuts are that you kind of work your way around the nuts so you won't cave the nuts down into, you know, your cake here. All right, now continue this. Put as many holes in it as you wish. 
and then we're going to drizzle over the glaze and let me tell you this cake will keep up to a month in the refrigerator if it's airtight if it's stored airtight I've probably made a hundred holes here in the top of the cake definitely what you want because you want that glaze to seep down into this scrumptious cake oh my lad some mercies this is going to be absolutely fantastic for the glaze as you can see you're going to slowly just spoon it on the top until it absorbs down into the cake you see how it's just running down into those holes that you've made with your skewer and just slowly add a little bit at a time and if any runs over the edge no big deal it'll just soak up from the bottom I've just got a couple of spoonfuls of glaze here and as you can see the cake still is just absorbing it like a sponge and now I'm going to put this in an airtight container put it in the refrigerator overnight bring it to room temperature and I'll cut into it and tell you what it tastes like tomorrow. So here goes in the airtight container. Here's our Christmas rum cake and boy did it turn out deliciously. I'm going to take you over here and show you how beautiful the cake turned out. Absolutely gorgeous on the inside. You see that nutty topping and that nice moist texture that we're going to have and the great flavor it's developed over the last couple of days of sitting in an airtight container in the refrigerator. So now I've brought it to room temperature. I'm going to dig into it. Definitely got to get some of this nutty rum topping and it just cuts in so smoothly and so beautifully. Now we got to give it a try. Oh my boy. Mmm. Does those flavors hit your palate quickly? Not this nice sponge cake. You've got this um, rum glaze with these with these pecans. It's absolutely delicious. You can see. Mmm. Oh my. I'm gonna cut into it so you can see how moist the cake is on the inside. There you go, y'all. I'm Durana with Foods 101. Hope you give it a try. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.